The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. The voice of inspiration and motivation. Bert Oliva. Bert Oliva. One of the most important things for Bert is his team. Makes sense, just now. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't experienced Bert until you see him live. In fact, this is going to be a whole different show. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. My family has been going to the Renaissance Festival for years now. It's amazing because it makes you feel like you're part of a movie, but you get to choose whether you want to watch or be part of it. On a business trip to Orlando, we met Bobby Rodriguez. Bobby is an award-winning entertainer, producer, and director of the Renaissance Festival. So first, here's a little bit of background on the Renaissance. The word Renaissance is a French word which means rebirth. The Renaissance was the age of exploration. It was a time of great beauty and art. Artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo created great works of art during this time, and writers like William Shakespeare were producing their own masterpieces. It was also a time of creativity, imagination, and curiosity, and the voyages of many great explorers like Columbus, Vespucci, Ponce de Leon, and many more. There were changes in thinking during the Renaissance. New ideas in art, science, astronomy, religion, literature, mathematics, philosophy, and politics were developed and advanced. The Renaissance is by far one of the most interesting and disputed eras in European history. So we asked Bobby to see if he would take us behind the scenes to see what it takes to put a festival of this magnitude together. Good morning, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you. Likewise. This is my daughter now, Sabrina. Bobby. Hi Sabrina, how are you? At least for the next half an hour or so we'll ride around in the golf cart. Okay. With over 40 years in the entertainment field, Bobby came up with an incredible idea. Why not host a Renaissance Festival here in Florida? The going joke is I tell everybody, I thought I was a genius coming up with this idea. I didn't know that they already had it all over the country. There was actually a small one, a tiny one in Vizcaya, but very different because there it was more of an art show. After maybe 10 years, I think he felt threatened because my show just took off. Voyage to the Orient is the theme for this weekend. Even though this is a Renaissance festival, there were some very fascinating things happening in other parts of the world. Right about now, I'll do a once around in, in the golf cart like we're doing now and check the vendors, make sure everything's okay, make sure they're open. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Make sure I don't see anything that's uh, problematic or uh, most importantly, anything that's dangerous. You know, I'm checking out all the different departments, spearhead any problems. Like right now, I just overheard one of our bounce houses uh, is having a problem. They want to shut it down. Well, I'm going to go over there because I don't want them to shut it down. And I, I, I'm very familiar with that, so maybe I can help them out. See if your actor mentality can take over for just a second. <laughs> All the ones in there are uh, entertainers of one kind or another. Some travel the country and do different shows for a living, and then half the people in there are local casts that we put together. We've got uh, probably, and all the people that we have in the show, over 600 people, they come from 30 different states just to do this show. And then when they leave here, they don't travel like a circus as a group. They all go their own separate way, but they go to another Renaissance festival and they do this for 10, 11 months out of the year. Morning. Morning. Yeah, all right, that music ready for today? Yep. All right, all right, great, see you later. For better or for worse, I'm a very proactive owner. I like to get involved in everything, and I, I know a little bit of everything, you know. Uh, yes, sir. Bobby, the um, people from the Dragon Race were asking about you. Joe from Trebuchet was walking by, uh, said they wanted to say hi. Okay, I'll get over there now, thank you. Yes, sir. There are only three talking over and working. All right, and I'll, uh, I'll come over and I'll take a look at the other. Please, thank you. Okay. One of the booths that, that I own is the turkey booth. The turkey legs are very popular. And we've got six ovens back there. And I was just told that three of them are down, which is not a good thing because we'd never be able to keep up with only three. I got to do it in the next 10 minutes because I got to get this golf cart off. 
once the show is open, we, we try and avoid anything 21st century, you know. So I'm going to have to go there now and spend five or ten minutes to, to try and get those other three up. Which ones are not going on? All right, so this one's good to go now. Okay, cool. If this goes off, let me know. Okay. Please call me. I will. We used to have a, a soda trailer inside there. We built the facade around it because we try and hide everything so that you never see any tires or anything. Same thing here. This is a, a 40 foot, 40, 50 foot uh, beer trailer and we hide the tires and we try and hide as much of the modern look as possible. For example, all the rides that we have, they're human powered rides. Right here we've got a carousel. Two guys pull this thing around and you, you go flying. And then we've got Da Vinci's Hurlinator here and this is a self-propelled ride that the faster you pump, the faster this thing goes. And it's, it's pretty impressive. That's the, our, our new maze, giant maze. This is the world's largest rocking horse. We've got a weapon wall here where you get a chance to throw different axes and knives and things like that. And one of the things that we've got for the first time ever are dragon boats. Hi guys. Was really this working awesome. for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is our captain, Will, in the hat. Hi, Will. Hi, Bobby. How you doing? Good to see you. Well, good. I'm glad it's working out. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. No more golf cart for me today. Everything is by foot. Uh, and that cannon is the opening cannon, and we have a closing cannon. The fair is officially open now. Hi, everyone. Welcome. 1038 Trout Treasure Show. Right this way. Hello, everyone. It's very family oriented. So if you have small children, there's tons of rides. They have everything from archery to dueling knights and testing your strength. It's called a cloudy. A cloudy? Yes. But in Ireland, they usually tie it to a piece of nature, like a tree. You leave it on there until the, either an element of, you know, the wind takes it away or if it rocks away, and it comes true. This is Lily the unicorn. Feel free to come in and take pictures or pet her. She's very sweet. <laughs> Everyone should know this. I knew before this day that unicorns were real. It is a thing, and I have been proven correct. In today's time, today's time. The festival has over a hundred merchants and artisans displaying their craft, which can include glass blowing, timeless clothing, a hammered pewter, wooden toys, and unique pottery. Journaling is one of the tools that Bert teaches like all of his coaching students, and I'm somebody who I've always written, but I don't know if it's the kinesthetic side of me or what, but the good paper and the smell of the letter. Ooh, look at the blue one. I am making a German to get the last part of the lock ready to go. So are all these made by him? Yes, sir. This is the Washing Well Wenches. We are here to provide laundry and love to everyone on the Shire. One of the most interesting things to watch are the hundreds of performers all around the festival engaging you and teaching you about the era all in unwavering character. The Cardinal himself has blessed the bucket. It's a bucket of holy poo. And the best part about it, we have found that when people eat this food from the New World called corn, you can just brush it off when it comes out in the privies and eat it again. We're calling it recycling, we're going green. Don't let your waste go to waste. Your business is our business. Hello. Guess what time period she's from? <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> the joy that this show brings to so many people, it's, it's amazing, remarkable. And we just grew tired of walking inside the ride. In terms of our cast, I can't tell you how many people have met here and then got married. And to this day, people ask me, you know, what, what is it? I can explain it to you, but until you go, it's pretty hard to understand. A lot of people, they show up and they think, you know, a little festival, you can walk around for half an hour, an hour, and you're done. They have no idea the magnitude of the show and, and the experience that you can have. You want to see the Fire Whip finale, say yeah! But you can also attend one of the many shows on 12 stages throughout the day. It's all, all kinds of entertainment. It's the last bastion of variety acts in, in America. This is the best place to see live variety acts. Nothing, no CGI here. And then there's the food. Oh, the food. Feast fit for a king. And at the local pub, you can toast with the royal court with a tanker of ale or cider. We've got some of the encampments, the, the uh, reenactment historical encampments. 
uh, and they'll do things and they'll cook in the style that they did back in those days. And uh, we're cooking uh, yard fowl. They won't have anything modern, any gas or anything like that. So We're actually coking up the wood on this side so that none of the contaminants get on the actual meat. We can control our heat better that way. Greetings, my good people. How are you, my good lad? Good to see you out and about. A parade comes with so many preacher. The last thing I want is for somebody to say, oh, the Renaissance, been there, done that. You know, it's the same thing. We do have a certain number of acts. We book year to year, but we also change out a lot of acts. Especially next year is going to be our 25th anniversary. We're going to blow it out the water next year. It's going to be all sorts of new things. Sneak peek. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'd have to shoot you. <laughs> if you want an experience for your family, you can't miss the next Renaissance Festival. Come join us here at the Florida Renaissance Festival. We're eagerly looking forward, look forward to having you. Let's review what just happened. For me, there are several lessons. Number one, sliding doors. You know what that means is that you never know who you're gonna meet. I love this Renaissance Festival event. And then I'm doing an event, a seminar, where I'm the guest speaker and Bobby is in the audience. And because of that, we were invited to do the behind the scenes. And we love that, not only because we love to experience behind the scenes, but we can also show you how it is. So next time you see me at an event, make sure you come up to me and talk to me. Number two, did you notice Bobby's owner mindset? A lot of people think when you get to a certain level, you don't have to work. No, he gets involved. He does everything that he has to do just like day one. Number three, you've heard me say this before, success doesn't happen overnight. It happens over time. 25 years. Some people give up after the first year. Some people give up after five years. And most people never achieve their level of success because they give up way too soon. So Bobby, congratulations on all your successes. Looking forward to seeing you next year on your 25th anniversary. My name is Bert Oliva. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And remember, keep making it happen and I'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Val and welcome to the family. Make sure to like, comment, and share. Psst. Hey. And subscribe, of course.